it is an emotional day. It's an emotional day, man. I have finally sold my 10th anniversary Sergio Aguero shirt. So this was released, obviously, for the 10th anniversary of the Aguero goal. 93rd minute, 20 seconds, 10th anniversary. Ah, I bought this on the day at the ground. We chanced it. We, we waited for a few hours. We met Aguero. He signed the shirt. Um, and yeah, it's sold on eBay for £990. Nuts. Absolutely nuts. So this shirt is actually limited to less than 2,000 pieces worldwide. So it's already really, really rare. Really, really rare. <laughs> it's already really rare. Um, and then Aguero signed it. So there's probably about 20 people there. When, so there's probably about 20 signed versions of this shirt and it's sold man it's sold it's going into the center of london we've got to make sure we ship it safely protect it and uh, hopefully it gets there in one piece wow that is my biggest ever sale on ebay 990 pounds um it made for my best day on ebay which was 1340 pounds something like that crazy crazy stuff but um, yeah, what a way to start the week. It is Monday, so no day in the life. We've got 34 orders to pack on eBay. I've already picked them. There's loads of them. We'll fly through them. We'll have a good day. I've got good news coming, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Big, big news regarding where we're working out of. That is big news. And hopefully great for the videos as well. Because this garage is getting a little bit... How would you say it? It's just a bit mad in here, isn't it? So... With a bit of luck, we might have a bigger place coming. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, enjoy today's video. So it has completely messed up. Completely messed up my graph, by the way. There's the confirmation of that day. Yeah, the best ever day on eBay. Will we top that? I'm not sure. Maybe one day, hopefully one day. But yeah, crazy, crazy stuff. So everything here is literally sold. Needs to be packed. It's going to be a long old afternoon. I uh, did do 10 listings this morning, so we're keeping up with that. Getting those 10 listings done first thing, and then we can crack on with the day. And then later on in the evening, we can trickle on a few more as well, so keep it keep it active. But guarantee, in the morning, bang, I've done my 10. So if I don't end up doing any for the rest of the day, it's not the end of the world, because we've got our 10 done in the morning before we even start our day. You'd be glad to know I also joined the gym. We went on Saturday, and my body is in bits. So yeah, um, you'll be happy to know that I'm getting a bit healthier again which is good physically and mentally so we're um yeah we're making progress but 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 it's going to be a long old afternoon of packing because there's just a lot of stuff a lot of stuff but yeah that is the main event there mr sergio aguero here is the sale there i'll, I'll cover up the username 990 pounds there absolutely unbelievable um crazy 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 but um blessed as well so i did just open the box because i did store this in there as well which is also listed on the store this is the program from the day uh 13th of may 2012 and aguero signed that for me when i met him in manchester the same day basically so i took this in kind of hope that he may be there if we get that sign that'd be amazing so yeah i'm thinking of delisting this one and keeping this obviously because i've sold the shirt like it pains me to sell it but and people ask why are you selling it but it's like needs must we're trying to save for a house you know what i mean it's it's not doing anything for me at the minute and you know i could say is it worth you know the sentimentality do you know what i mean but yeah we are trying to save for a house at the end of the day but this one i might have to keep now because the shirt is obviously gone so um obviously zabba letters on the front but that was the uh the program from the day um when he when i met him i shown him the program i went i said it's the program from the day and he went zabba zabba you know because it's obviously one of his close mates you know the Argent argentinian so um yeah exciting stuff exciting stuff anyway so basically i'm just gonna fly through all these sales here and i uh, show you what's been selling this weekend so the weekend started with a sony ps2 sale of the suffering i did say it did look like lee sire for any joey diaz fans out there amazing stuff we got 12.99 for that i think that pretty much you know what did it take us back last last week about a quid overall for those games quid each something like that so nice quick sale on those i've sold a couple of them now um but it looks like a decent game to be fair never played it let me know if you've played it in the comments below okay so there's a bit of folklore around this one on the channel a lot of people were waiting this for this to be listed but we did have a winner 
we did have a winner in the end. Emily um, was quickest and purchased it on the store. She also picked up, to go with it, um, this Corinthian set as well, which has got Mr. Skulls in there as well. I did share this on my Instagram, but a fun story about Skulls. He, um, he grew up in exactly the same town as me uh, in Manchester, which is Middleton. So, yeah, pretty cool. Um, name set, I think it's from like 20, 2007, 2008. Um, it's in real nice condition. Name set's real nice. We got $69.99 for the shirt. £10 for the figures. So thank you very much, Emily. Appreciate the, you know, appreciate the uh, the order. Appreciate the support on the channel. And um, this shirt, enjoy it, enjoy it. You know, boo to being a United fan. But to be fair, I do like the black shirt. Like the blue shirt the year after. Like the dark blue shirt. So, I'll, you know, I'll admit you've got yourself a nice shirt there. With a very good player on the back. If you have been following the channel over the recent weeks, you would have seen us sold this Toy Story fighting Woody. So we got payment for that. Um, so that's got the little rare Wheezy toy in there, um, which James collects, you know, famously didn't pick up on the car boot. Um, but that's like a Woody with a firefighting suit. It's got a little hat and stuff. We got £60 for that. Even just look out for the Wheezy. You can get decent money for him. But I had the full set, so it was nice to um, put them all together. There is a bigger Wheezy, which is worth even more. But um still happy with £60 on there. I've got another Wheezy up here. The same one as that. Um, He's not in as good condition. But he's just, you know, chilling on the shelf. Because I do like myself. I love Toy Story, to be fair. I love Toy Story. Absolute favourite kids film. Cried in the cinema at Toy Story 3. It was, it was an emotional day, let me tell you. It was an emotional day. Next sale after that, we sold some Bam. Bam! Bamboo. Waistband leggings. Bam. Bam, bam, bam. That is the brand, bam. Um, size 14, Skylight print. We got 29 at 99 for those. And we, you know, I think we paid less than a fiver on those. So good markup on those. Um, good brand to look out for, bam. Um, especially you get tag stuff. You can't go wrong at all. There's the confirmation of the Corinthians as well. Thank you very much, Emily. Um, awesome stuff. James Bullock. Uh, big shout out to James. He's actually recently sold some stuff to me. He's on the way now, so very excited for that. Um, big old bundle of stuff on the way. Um, so, um, yeah, shout out to James. He picked up these Tomb Raider PS2 games. I, I'm losing my um, I'm losing my, my mojo. You know what I mean, I'm losing my uh, train of thought. But, yeah, he got um bundle of three. So, Tomb Raider Anniversary, Tomb Raider Legend, and Tomb Raider The Angel of Darkness. I like the cover on that. Um, but, again, came in the same bundle as the suffering so i got 12.99 for that bundle of three which is pretty nice they're all complete with manual really nice condition discs pretty much perfect so awesome stuff good to go in the collection next sales all these asics they're a little bit old to be fair um it's a japan collaboration piranha sp3 japans and um, a little bit old very lightweight feels like polystyrene um got 25 quid for them paid six or seven in the charity shop so nothing crazy um i just thought they, they look pretty cool i thought oh little um cheeky little piranha i don't know what that's supposed to mean cheeky little piranha but i picked them up anyway and they went for 25 quid which is decent i just don't think they've got any of the new technologies they're a little bit basic do you know what i mean like there's nothing nothing to them do you know what i mean you have all the springs and all sorts of them now don't you so um yeah that's nothing much more i can say about that next sale i sold this looney tunes uh tweety talking phone so shout out to my cousin ben right shout out he's in in australia now he'll probably never see this but um his favorite teddy bear as a child was tweety bird so that's how i know about tweety i was never really into looney tunes to be fair i only know tweety because of my cousin um everyone had the favorite bear or favorite plush as a kid and that was his so shout out to ben um 71 quid sold that for it's brand new in the box uh obviously it's been open but cellophane up all that good stuff uh paid a tenner for it so good profit after that we sold a pair of chunky platform asos boots with pink love hearts on that's them in the bag there you see the little heart paid a fiver for about four pair of them paid a fiver each so 20 quid for four pairs and then we sold a pair for 34.99 so i think i got like three more pairs of them but there was decent for a fiver and um, five each next up shout out to sunita if you the channel um she picked up one of the burberry rework jackets very very nice it's one of the older ones that i've had in um which is real nice i like those really do like those the newer ones um they're still nice but i just feel like the older ones had a nice softer feel to them these are a little bit more i don't know they're still soft but um so yeah I don't know, I'm just trying to, like, not sell you the new jacket for some reason. But, uh, yeah, Sunita, appreciate that. £55 for that one. Did her a good deal. 
happy days appreciate that so next sale is this thirteen thousand two hundred piece jigsaw puzzle big disney one sealed seals come on away a little bit but it's brand new we sold that for 67.49 we got that from sam sell stuff when he was clearing out a load of stuff we bought a nice bundle off him for a couple hundred quid so that is a decent little sale paid a pound or two for this team three little sealed box set board game we got 19.99 for that i think it's like german or something Made made in Germany or some kind of German brand. But yeah, never seen it before. It was sealed. Searched it up. 20 quid. Can't really go wrong with that. Size of that thing. Jesus Christ. Look at him. Fucking hell. I'll tell you what, when I was in Manchester, I got stung off a wasp in the old shed as well. I couldn't believe it. Never been stung before. Painful, man. On my stomach. Okie dokie. Next sale, Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. Good condition. There's just a little crack on the case. But apart from that, it's pretty minty to be fair. And we got 30 quid for that one. And then after that, we sold another game, which is Super Mario Land on the Game Boy. It's got a few teeth marks in there from someone who's just had a bit of a chew on it. But we got 9.99 for that one. 12 quid for those Cotton Trader jeans. You would have seen those uh, sold a few days ago, but just received payment this weekend. £20 for an Enid Blyton 10 book box set. We can find that somewhere. There it is. Just on there. A little noddy one. Very nice. Look out for that one. Got 20 quid. Paid two or three for that, I think. So nothing nothing to uh, write home about. But, you know, 20 quid's 20 quid. Following that, we sold another ASOS Barbie Hello Kitty tea for £20. As you can see there. Paid a fiver. So good stuff. I think we've got one of them left in a UK 10. Lego Ninjago, we sold one of them figures already, which is nice. It is the Scales, it's called Scales, and that is him. We sold him for £22.99. Sold a couple of mini Bowden girls cord shorts for £12.99 in age nine, I think. Yeah, just did a little bundle, and they went all right, which is nice. Happy days. Just one of them where you get them and you think, oh, why did I kind of buy them? But yeah, they're all right. They're all right, twelve ninety nine. Obi Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader brickheads Lego sold for nineteen ninety nine. To be fair, at first I thought it was Qui Gon Jinn, but yeah, it does look like Obi Wan now. Um, yeah, got that from uh, from Manchester from Tom's place. So yeah, shout out to Tom. Sold a good few bits from him now. I think I did forget to mention before, but the actual Aguero shirt it retailed at hundred pounds. I think. Um, so yeah, it, the club shop opened up the day off, and um, well in the morning. Um, yeah, it was about, I think it was about 100 quid, 110 maybe. But yeah, just thought I'd uh, include that. Next sale is a pair of sunglasses to Abigail. And a very funny but not so funny story around this. Abigail picked up a pair of Calvin Klein, Calvin Klein sunglasses um, last week. These ones. But my silly bottom sent them Oakleys there. Um, the Oakleys turned up and she was like, I really like the Oakleys. Um... So said, oh, you do what we exchange, etc., etc. Said, oh, I really like the Oakleys, um, but I'll still get the other pair. So, you know, because I only noticed because um, I seen I could send offers on the Oakleys, and I was thinking, I've already sold, I've already sold the Oakleys, and then I checked, and it was Calvin Klein's. So anyway, Abigail has picked up the Oakleys now, and I'll send the Calvin Klein's this time. So yeah, shout out to Abigail, great sub support of the channel um, and the store as well. So. Apologies, Abigail, about that. You've got two great sunglasses for the rest of summer now, um, instead of one. Next sale was some Paul Smith pink trousers. Um, that's kind of like the sub-brand on Paul Smith. Didn't really find much out about these. I had them listed for ages for like 50 quid, 40 quid, and I just whacked them up again at like 35. Took an offer at 25. There's the actual tag there. Paul, Paul Pink Smith or Paul Smith Pink. Um, happy with 25. Happy with 25. Didn't um, didn't cost us a lot in the first place, so it's all good in the hood. Um, next sale was from Brad, actually. It says, hi, John. Been following you for a while. You and Ricky inspired me to start reselling. Thanks for the content. Keep it up, Brad. He picked up Assassin's Creed Valhalla on the PS5, which came from Tom as well. So shout out to Tom in Manchester. Great designer. Designed those great pieces, which will be on the wall soon, hopefully. In a new unit. Then we had a couple of games sell to the same person. We sold Dante's Inferno on PS3 and Manhunt on the PS2. He paid twenty six ninety eight for the two of those, and they'll still go as a large letter if you put them side by side in a big old mailer like that. Nice little large letter, decent. So yeah, happy days. It's good to see um, just random sales come in um, from general buyers who are buying multiple items on the store, which is nice. 
Um, obviously, sometimes we get subscribers who buy multiple things, but it's nice to see just the general public as well. So it means people are actually browsing the store, which is nice. Um, so yeah, all good in the hood. So next sale was from Sean. He picked up this Pioneer Blu-ray player, £65. Took an offer, I think it was listed at 80 So give him a £15 discount on there. And um, yeah, it's a nice one. Like, it's just missing a remote, but I think the remote's like seven, eight quid for an actual genuine one on eBay. So there's no bother at all. Tested it out, all working last week. And um, yeah, repeat buy. He supports the, the store. So I appreciate you, Sean. Hopefully the Blu-rays all what you wanted it to be. And it plays your glorious Blu-rays. Let me know, Sean, what's your first film that you're going to watch on it? Let me know if you're watching this, I don't know. Shout out to you, dude. Appreciate it. Um, next sale was this book set, which I've actually, have I picked? Yeah, I've picked some of the... It is that one there. Brian Jack's 20 Years of Red Wall. 40 quid I got for that. Paid three quid on the uh, car boot, I think. Last time out. Maybe the one before last. I'm not sure. But yeah, three quid into 40, which is not too shabby, Alonzo. And then a big shout out to Lewis, Abigail's husband, who picked up this brand new Carhartt hat as well. So that hat can go in the same as those sunglasses and they'll be on the way to you. Appreciate it, dude. There's the... Uh, the 15 pound sale there awesome stuff uh next sale after that was horizon forbidden west never heard of this game i'm not really i've not been a gamer in a while man i feel like i'm well out the loop this is quite a popular game apparently um 17.99 i paid for that it is knocking about here somewhere um somewhere 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 but um let's see if we can find it there he is so yeah i've heard this is a pretty good game to be fair pretty good game but i'm just literally so out the loop the game oh jeebies um so out the loop with gaming at the minute um so yeah um i'm sure I'll catch up one day catch up one day um i sold a little tweenies dvd next which is one of the low end stuff that i've got on the store i can find it i'm losing everything today aren't I? um this tweenies dvd here party games laughs and giggles awesome stuff and that is from a subscriber called aaron so yeah thank you for the purchase aaron this is like one of the low low end stuff on the uh, on the store um so yeah i'll probably kind of steer away from like because this sold for 4.99 like, anything less than that, and it's kind of like, is it worth it? I know a lot of people say that in the comments sometimes, like, you've just sold that um, with, you know, fees, postage, how much you're actually making. So say that didn't cost me anything, you know, after fees and postage, you still get about three quid. Um, you sell, you know, 10 of them, 30 quid. You sell 100 of them, 300 quid. It adds up, um, but you just have a, have a vast store full of £5 items to, um, to have a proper proper business around it but uh yeah i don't mind get picking up a load of games like 20 games some are great 20 quid 15 quid 10 quid and then i'll list a few for six or seven quid i don't mind that i don't mind that at all but when it gets less than a fiver i'm like now bundle them get rid next up after that we have got this panasonic freeview recorder 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 and uh, we got 39.99 for that that's one of the low-end ones again it's been hanging around for a bit but we got 39.99 for that which is pretty nice so we had a couple of private sales as well when i say private sale it's like you know someone will watch a video and then they'll say oh you know if you've got, still got that it's not listed but i'm gonna buy it so basically they, they buy it um through paypal or whatever first one is this ishiko jacket ishiko pretty decent brand to look out for i got 30 quid for that which is nice um obviously the masterpieces picked up these boots i mentioned it in the last vlog uh, for 120 which is amazing shout out to ian go and check out his channel if you're not already super super guy and um yeah hopefully they'll be his perfect boot also shout out to chloe who picked up this dress it is the kill star dress beautiful dress like really nice you would have seen me pick this up a couple of weeks ago and it is gorgeous it's gorgeous so yeah thanks to chloe for that purchase there reached out on instagram it's like when if you ever see anything on the video i'll Oh, that Monopoly and Metallica, blah, blah, blah. Have you listed that yet? Um, you know, how much do you want for it? Basically, just do that. And then we just sell it through Instagram. Most of the time, I get it listed and you guys will buy it through eBay. But on the off chance it's not listed, just get in touch. Get in touch. Last but not least, we sold these Marvel Infinity Volume 1 and 2. Very good books. So a massive shout out to Alex who picked these up enjoy dude i appreciate the business appreciate the sporting videos and uh yeah i hope the books are great and i think that is pretty much everything i've got to pack now <laughs> oh man 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 and i am gonna call today's video here i've just got a lot of moving parts today a lot to be done um and that is going to take me a long time to pack so yeah um yeah bear with me back tomorrow with a full daily vlog but um i hope this was a nice little video for you guys if you did enjoy it, leave a like, leave a comment down below and hit subscribe if you are new. Without further ado, I'll see you tomorrow though. Peace. <laughs>